Breakers! We have had a gigantic quality of life patch drop. Update 1.07. Sequel to 1.05. Don't know what happened to 1.06. Excuse my froggy voice. I have a bit of a something going on in sickness this week. But we had a massive amount of quality of life changes coming to the game that boggle the mind how great they are. So, first and foremost, simple stuff. We now have a button to just go from the lobby to the shop at will. To the shop. Fantastic. Save walking over there when there's no good reason to at any given point. Uh, going from the top of the patch notes, which I will link into the description of the video, we also have a variety of massive changes to the assembly screen. If you head over to config here, there's a couple of new options down under game. Specifically, what everyone has been clamoring for, which is a confirmation dialogue of whether or not you want to fuse those high rank parts. Uh, it's annoying trying to fuse five stars, four stars, stuff like that, because it will give you that are you sure multiple times. If it's an integrated part, you get it twice. You can now selectively choose whether integrated parts or high rarity parts get selected for that, while still keeping label parts to give you the double confirmation, just in case you don't want to delete them. In addition to that quality on labeled parts, not be able to easily fuse them in, you can also now, from the assembly screen, hit one button, which is triangle here on PlayStation, and label stuff without having to go into the menu and hit that label over and over again. Super fast. Speaking of labels, sorting has never been easier. That's right. The mythical update has come. We can now sort parts specifically by skills they have. Not only that, we can now sort weapons by left and right skills. As well as sorting ability modules, cartridges, by specific passives on them too. Incredible quality of life change that will make making builds a hundred thousand times easier like oh god it's not even close to how much better this is going to make it so you might have also noticed another interesting little feature in the menu there above those confirmation toggles let's talk about adjustments on builders parts let me demonstrate that real quick so previously without that selected Let's say you take a nice little 6-2 missile pod. I'm going to slap it right on my torso here in the most obnoxious place possible. But what if I don't want it there? What if that looks terrible? What if instead I want to adjust it to... Be a little farther over... And flush with the arm. I want to give it kind of a shoulder-mounted look. Very easy to do with adjustment. But it was not terribly feasible before... Because as soon as you would use that part, they would often snap back to their original size and position. So let's do an example here real quick with the 6-2 missile pod. There's also a reason I'm using Calibar, and I'll show you in a moment. So under this config menu option, Adjustment values. Keep the original values or do not keep. Do not keep as default. When you would use such a builder's part skill, those parts would snap back to the original size and position. Made things incredibly annoying. Made some stuff nigh unusable unless you worked around them very strictly. Now, you can head right over that option or config and tell it to keep its scale and keep its position. It'll fire from wherever you put it. Great. Fantastic. No arguments. I love it. Uh, there's been a couple other changes as well. There's a reason I'm using Calibarn, because its bit on form has actually been fixed. It was very inconsistent back when it first released a couple weeks ago. But now, if you use any kind of hypertrance, it will get those added bits that it steals from Ariel. Which do properly pop off and come back when you use the actual funnel skill. It works with any hypertrance, 
including stuff like Mirage Colloid. You actually make the gun bits invisible when you use it, which is kind of neat. One other change for you fashion builders, which I know is something you've been clamoring for for a while. It is unfortunately not the fabled change the glow and beam color of weapons, but it's kind of close. We can now, if I find one that's appropriate here, yeah, double riser works. We can now change the color of GN particles. So normally GN particles would be stuck being the GN green. Or in some cases like uh, Quanta, when you use Quanta Burst, they change to a slightly different color. Under the paint option, you can head to anything that's emitting GN particles. And the GN particles will now be slave to the first glow color. So let's say instead of green, I want red. I want to have them be like fake GN Tau drives. You'll see the glow within the drive, the condenser, is now red. And if I were to use this in gameplay... You'll see instead of the usual green GM particles I'm pooping on my butt, I now have that cool Tau red, which I can change to a shade of orange if I want to make it a little more accurate. This not, does not affect Trans Am. Trans Am will still be red, or whatever color Trans Am you're using if it's Quantum Burst but it does affect the particles you're putting out. It also does not affect weapons skills, option skills that use GN particles. So stuff like Exia Arm Vulcans are still going to be that purple no matter what you set to. All in all, this is a fantastic quality of life update. Lots of changes across the board. Stability has been fixed in gameplay in general. They're listening to us. They're listening to us and they're making changes we want at a fairly rapid pace. This update is also independent of the actual DLC drop itself which as a time of recording has not dropped yet for PlayStation and I'm losing my mind. But you don't need to pay for the season pass to get these updates. Fantastic stuff. Uh, enjoy this and be excellent to each other.